They man. said she was so drunk that she was barefoot. I think he was talking shit like, look at you out here tripping, you all out here barefoot. And she was like, I'm going to pow and shot herself in the foot. <laughs> The greatest American alive. Hey, dear Meg the Stallion, how come you lied so hard? The money. Them the, commas. The, them commas made her lie like that? Lying is a market. Man, but like falling in love is also a market. She loved it, that little man. He talks so but much But our shit market, on that man. there's some markets that are more profitable. You think lying is more profitable than love? It depends on what their perspective is, right? If they want if they want the commas. Hey, she could have turned that Tory thing into like a whole big event, you know, like the five foot ten chick with the five foot seven nigga, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They could have been doing duets. He sang and then she <laughs> rapping, huh? As soon as we say a female artist, I'm thinking about like, uh, is she twerking or not? Right. Sexualized. <laughs> Point exactly. Is the market sexualizing them or, or are they sexualizing themselves? That's like a big question. I think that women are just sexy. We got something that everybody wants. Okay. So look, if we can agree that women are sexy, and yeah. everybody wants women, everyone likes women, women like women, it's a beautiful thing, yes? Yeah. If we can get to that place, right? Mm -hmm. How come women start saying, why are you looking at my breast? Because they insecure. Sure. But your insecurity ain't got nothing to do with me, though. No, but see, you're a gentleman. I'm just saying. You got some men that aren't as chivalrous just because you look. You got some men that be, hey, hey, I see you with that ass over there. Like, damn, you ain't. I see me with this ass, too. You ain't got to call me out. But we just started at the place where we both understand that uh, everybody wants this thing. Oh, my God. So what, sh so what should a woman do if she's getting cat calls? Should she start twerking? Ooh. When I saw that woman who was reporting for the Meg Thee Stallion case, she looked she looked dead into the camera and she yeah. held them breasts and said, she said, y'all like that? Yeah. Sex icon shit. Yeah. Sex icon shit. Yeah. I said, holy. See, that's a, that is a bitch that is not insecure. I mean, you you lean in. Yeah. Like, you can't tell me what I can think. And when you start trying to, like, dictate mm. my behavior, tell me we get a weird society. Everybody's weird. I mean, our society is getting extra strange right now, though, because we... Like, weak people think that they can dictate to strong people just because they say, I have feelings. I'm like, hey, I'm going to tell you a little secret. Everybody got those. That don't make them facts. <laughs> Everybody got feelings. And when you start saying the thing that I said hurt your feelings, I'm like, hey, man, I don't give a damn about your feelings, honestly, respectfully. <laughs> and that's your feeling. For real. <laughs> I'm going to live my life based on what you think about me. Are you crazy? You're yeah. Crazy they are crazy. <laughs> People are so entitled. Man, silly ass Meg Thee Stallion. Like, but when you get big like that, she didn't want people talking ugly about her. And so she, somebody hurt me. Yeah. Y'all need to protect me. I'm a woman. But when she out there fist fighting. Right. The, talking shit. Right. She out there thumping. Popping, the playing the beats because I don't plan to be stuck with you. Like popping pills is a good Holy. thing. Holy. Man, popping in B pills will fuck a woman's reproductive system up. You went to an amazing place because, you know, like right now we have like a fertility crisis in America. Women want to have babies and when we get to 27, 28, right. they're like, damn, my womb is dead. Why is my womb dead? Mm -hmm. They say it's the food. It's the water. All these things. Chemicals. Hey, haven't you been on birth control since you were 16? Bitch. You've you, you been, you been assassinating your babies. Yeah. For for all this time, for a decade, you've been committing assassination. And all of a sudden, you want to say, come here, baby. I want to yeah, play. Yeah, yeah. Fucking with your body. Oh. Now you want a baby. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. That ain't self-love. I don't know what that is. We're promoting so much stuff. Like, we're promoting anti-human ideology. And it's scary as hell. And What'd you say? Anti-human ideology. Ideology. Okay, right. For real. Like, yeah, it's all theory. Theoretics, but niggas don't have applied knowledge. People are promoting death and they think that shit is sexy. <laughs> uh, it's, it's sexy to not give a fuck. And I was working on this, right? Mm -hmm. Like, because, you know, everyone says, like, history's going to judge us. We look back at history and we think about, like, Genghis Khan. Right. And he murdered so many people. They're going to look back at America and say, we're the most savagest nations ever. Yeah. They say, we love war so much that we wage war all around the world. Mm -hmm. We participate in every world war. And on top of that, their citizens assassinate unborn children. Right. By the tens of millions. Yeah. They're going to say, they're going to look back at America and say, they assassinated at least 100 million children. Right. And we promote this ideology talking about <laughs> body positivity <laughs> contradicting self-love it's very contradicting holy yeah you gonna murder your insides talking about some self-love yeah i appreciate you having this conversation with me because it's they'll tell me stay out of women's business <laughs> Hey. But they don't want you to be in our business when we want you to protect us. But you want me to come fight for you, though, right? Hell yeah. <laughs> protect me. What do I look like? Some type of soldier for feminism? Just, hey, you just do what I tell you to do, because if you don't, that's toxic masculinity. Do it. <laughs>
But if you submit, boy, do you what a, I told you to do. You're a real man if you submit. Submissive men are powerful in America, and that's wild as hell. Oh my gosh, there's such a fine balance between like being assertive as a man and then having to protect as a man. Like, I need you to protect me, but yet be <clears throat> sensitive. I keep going back to it because it's the hottest trial, the Meg thing. These two women were outside fist fighting with each other. And two men could not stop the fight. Based on eyewitnesses, two men could not stop the fight. And so mm. when we want to talk about being feminine. Tori went out and said, hey, y'all stop that. Y'all right. stop that shit. And guess what Meg was doing? Throwing jabs and uppercuts like, God damn, huh? She yeah. hit that girl so hard, she knocked the weave out of her head. <laughs> <laughs> she did. They found weave and broken fingernails in the streets. This really? really happened for real. Oh, wow. They was out there. The, the man said they were fighting for minutes. Wow. I get tired just like shadow boxing for two minutes. Can you imagine? <laughs> shadow boxing. <laughs> uh, I be playing like a Muhammad wild. Ali in the morning in the shower. You know what I'm saying? They said she was so drunk that she was barefoot. I think he was talking shit like, look at you out here tripping. You all out here barefoot. And she was like, I'm going to fuck. Pow! And shot herself in the foot. <laughs> And That's that, what I think. And that is one of those theories they do think. That, but all they know is that, like, uh, it was four sets of DNA on that gun. Right. She shot herself in the foot, pun I, intended. Hey, these, these drunk folks out there going crazy. Mm-hmm. And so, like, this is the dynamic between men and women right now. It's a whole lot of, like, hyperaggression between male and female relationships because it's like mm-hmm. women want to be seen as women and as feminine. But right. simultaneously, they do not want men to lean into their masculinity. But right. So if I want you to acknowledge that I can also be career driven and submissive, but I can't acknowledge you to be masculine and also the parts of you that can be submissive for the sake of love. We're battling for the same position. Yeah, really. Saying the same shit. You ever argue with somebody saying the same thing you say, but y'all just saying it differently? I was having a conversation with a female friend of mine, right? And she was like being very disrespectful. She was doing name calling. She was trying to belittle me, right? Mm. And so I spoke to her in an assertive, non-aggressive way. Yeah. And I talked to her with such authority Mm -hmm. that she looked at me and said, I'm a woman. And I said, holy, I see that you're a woman and I respect you enough. I haven't cursed you. I haven't raised my, I haven't raised my voice. I'm talking to you in an assertive tone. And for you, she felt that strength and got scared and then tried to say, oh my goodness, you shouldn't be powerful, but you want to be powerful. Would you step to her? Why? She said, I'm a woman. Would you got in front of her or something? I'm two, I'm two feet away. Yeah. Because I I understand perception. I'm (laughs) 220 pounds. You hear me? Like, I understand perception. Um, I know that America looks at me like I'm a pit bull, mm-hmm. uh, just a hyper-aggressive person. And so since that's the perception, I'm going to be hyper-graceful, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you distance and courtesy. But you do that to men and women. I do. I've seen, yeah, I've seen men walk next to you. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care how big the man is. I don't yeah. care. I, I don't care how strong the man is. I'm going to respect that person as a man. Yeah. And I ask women to have the exact same courtesy, but they don't want to acknowledge a man's masculinity. Right. Because we've been so neutered by society. Yeah. Just took the teeth away from the dog. No, I got teeth. I'll bite the shit out your ass. Yeah. Keep playing with me, huh? Because people feel like they got to beat you down in order to feel validated in themselves. I mean, like it's, they want to support the narrative and the narrative coming from mainstream media is that women are so powerful. Mm-hmm. And like, and I'm with it. Right. But you're not powerful physically. You're not more powerful. Like, right. By the numbers, you're not po- more powerful than men physically. Okay? Right. Chemically, we had that conversation about estrogen versus testosterone. In order for a person who wants to transition to be more masculine, they have to take testosterone. Mm-hmm. And for a person to transition to be more feminine, they have to take estrogen. Right. And so when we acknowledge this based on chemical compounds and the, and the procedures that we have right we have to be able to reflect that in our conversation yeah but for some reason hey if i talk like this to a woman she's gonna sit there and be like you can't talk to me like that (laughs) yeah like like a human person (laughs) but they don't understand chemicals this is a whole chemical compound (laughs) testosterone has more carbon hey why does make the study got so much testosterone oh my god (laughs) and that wasn't even testosterone oh my god that was that was hennessy For real, they said between those, it was like five or six people at the party and they drank dang five or six bottles of alcohol. She's a, how tall is she? Five foot ten is what they say. That's it. But some folks say she look about six two. I was gonna say, I think I thought she was taller than that. Hey, all I know is that like, man, I saw a picture of her uh, with no makeup on. That's a beautiful woman. Yeah. I'm like, you're supposed to be just this beautiful, dainty. You can't be dainty, too big to be dainty, but you're just supposed to be like this, this 
statue of femininity. Mm -hmm. But you out here, uh, hit me with that hook dick. <laughs> she got a she Oh my God. She got a song talk about Captain Hook Dick. I'm like, holy Christ. Oh, man. I missed that one. I did not know that. And then and then as soon as they get hooked, <laughs> they go get a plan B and destroy them ovaries. Goodness gracious, man. Because I don't plan to be stuck with you. Yeah. Hey, as a as a man, I think it's so crazy for me to even think. That I'm just finna just just be popping everything. What you mean? Just because I have access to a bunch of vagine, I'm oh. not just finna just dive into some Gina. Yeah, <laughs> man, hey, that'd I, be greedy. I love the Gina. Can we talk about greedy? Tori was being so greedy. He was popping Meg, her best friend Kelsey, and he was about to hit Kylie too. <laughs> yeah, that's what they said. He was in the pool. That's what got them bitches mad. Hey, little five foot seven trying to flex. So I'm like, I'm finna hit them all tonight. But they're about that life though. Regardless, I mean, yeah. Should he have discipline to tell himself I'm not going to do all of these women? But I mean, hey, that's that Hollywood shit. Having some perspective, it, it matters, you know, mm -hmm. and just treating people like pieces of meat. Mm -hmm. When they get mad at you, you can't get mad at them. Like, you have to keep it player, right? Like, if he would have tried to massage that thing in a play ass way, mm -hmm. everybody would have had fun. <laughs> They sent, he sent them away. Yeah. Like, hey, y'all take, hey, just go. <laughs> just get out of here. Because <laughs> <laughs> all that energy they was bringing, right? And that shit backfired on them. It, hey, no pun intended. It literally backfired oh. on them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can't blame it on Tori because he was just, they invited him to the party. Hey, they she, was already partying, <gasps> having their own pool party. She was so excited. They say Kylie Jenner was so excited. Right. Like, yeah. They said he kept asking about him. Tori Lane. Yeah, so I he came. They wanted him there. I didn't know he was such a big artist. Oh, really? I did not know that he was like, you know, for a billionaire to be requesting him. I don't know, man. That's, that's yeah. fly shit. Hey, y'all women, y'all better behave yourself. Meg was over there bragging on that dick. Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah. She was talking about how out towards me down. Got that hook. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Pauls, I don't know nothing about that man's meat. Listen, listen. I don't know nothing about that man's meat. And then they low-key started thinking about it, like pl plotting, huh? Plotting and scheming. Yeah. Kelsey over there salivating. I'm like, holy. Mm -hmm. Hey, you said that you hope that Tory Lanez does not become a bitch-ass nigga. What, yeah. what you mean by that? Because he really believed that Megan was a real one. I mean, everybody believed that. She Ooh. got everybody thinking. So when you think somebody a real one. Please, somebody make a movie about this guy. Man, Tory Lanez named the whole album Daystar after himself, and he dedicated that thing to Meg Thee Stallion. Mm. Like, in that thing, he was like, man, I, he almost said, I love you. Aww. Like, he was begging for that girl. He's like, answer the phone. Call me. You know it didn't go down like that. Please, baby, please. Mm. I think I need to let it go. Looks like another love. <laughs> oh, That's what the fuck we seen. I guess Meg put that, uh, she put that thing on him. She said that's what she can do in all her songs. Okay, she could do that in all her songs, right? Mm -hmm. How come the biggest names that she was with don't don't claim her? Because she ain't shit, at the, as we see. They tried to put that body on Ben Simmons, and Ben Simmons said, look, my no hands. <laughs> 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 no, don't pass that rock to me. Hell no. It wasn't me. That. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't, it me. wasn't <laughs> me. Mm -mm. No bueno. So you think he fell in love with me? You think Tori fell in love with me? I think Tori fell in love with me because she was stunting like most imposters do. And so you're worried that he's going to take that out on other women. Yeah, because Megan is like an icon in her own lane. Sex icon. Sex icon. <laughs> and everybody sees her as being this keep it a hundred down ass chick from H-Town. H-Town got the realest people in it. That's what it's known for. Hey, shout out to Kelsey Harris for, for hey, 10 toes down. She mm. went in there and hey, you talked all that stuff to lawyers and on the on the internet. But when you got to court, you said I don't know nothing. Right when it was when it was all documented. I plead the fifth. Right, fifth. <laughs> hey, these people. Hey, Tory Lanez and Kelsey Harris got so much clout from this because they they just say, "Hey, that didn't happen. We didn't mm. do that." The industry's gonna look at Meg The Stallion crazy. Yeah, they are. She actually said this. Meg The Stallion actually said this in court. Mm -hmm. I'm from the black community, and we don't snitch. Wow. <clears throat> but you on IG snitching. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? I bet she wouldn't say I'm from the black community and we don't lie. Ooh. <laughs> How you going to go out there and say that and then drag the black community? <laughs> right. You said we don't snitch and then you snitch and then you up there lying. She's trying to portray herself as a feminine person. Mm -hmm. But all of her music and her all of her behavior are hyper-masculine. Right. Hyper-sexual and hyper-masculine. Mm -hmm. Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> 
that's the that's the thought process right now in the world. She talks shit about niggas, and I get it. It's her market. That is a market because there are a lot of rap songs that men do that talk shit about bitches. Like they want the equality that has the advantage to it, and that's mm-hmm. not equality. They want equality to serve them. Yeah. But not when it serves you. Hey, I want you to look at me as a strong, but you can't be strong. Like, yeah. Holy Christ, man. Yeah, bow down. Because you know that if I allow you to be strong and you allow me to be strong, you ain't that strong. Mm, and you'll look, I'll be looked at as weak. Right. All right tell power, the, power. Tell, tell the truth. There's some power, man. These, these fake-ass power dynamics and shit. Mm, it's a market. It's a market. <laughs> It, sm- it smells it's like a market. It's, it smells like prostitution, and we're selling ourselves on the open market to the the, the mm-hmm. lowest bidder because we show ain't negotiating. Yeah, I talk about the stars, but they have the money to do the things they're doing. But yeah. for us, we actually have to have some character, some morals, some standards to have healthy relationships. <laughs> I don't think the average cat can just be, you know, what I'm saying, knocking down billionaires like it's fun. No, but like the moral character, real recognize real. That's the end of his story. Megan got the game fucked up. She had enough clout here in H Town. Yes, did she not? Cause she and I had stayed in H Town and made a bag. Yes. But she wanted to be the thing that she is right now. Exactly. She wanted to be bigger and she had to go sign that deal to get bigger. And that's why she had to do what they told her to do, which is lie. She wanted to be that sex icon shit. Man, I mean, don't make it sexy. I want to defend black women. I want to give Meg the Stallion some advice right now. I take this advice, okay? Someone, you had an advisor on your team from Rock Nation. They told you exactly what to do and exactly what to say. Right. This is your moment to fight back against the industry and tell them, that they told you your career was on the line if you did not play ball. They did. They called the shots. They called the lawyers. Yeah. All you got to do is say that. Tell the truth now. Yeah. Man, your career goes to the roof. Someone's going to pick you up. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. You might get blackballed. <laughs> yeah. Somebody will pick her up because she still has an advantage. She's, her name still has clout. I'm telling you, like, if you want to go on another press run, you tell the truth about Desiree Perez, who works for Rock Nation, who was behind you and pushing this ideology. Mm-hmm. I tell you what, man. All of a sudden, you go from smelling like shit to smelling like a rose. <laughs> and she had to do what they told her because she signed that contract. And when, even if she did try to say, oh, no, I'm not going to do that, they probably flipped to page 95. Hey, that's a very scary thing. Like, to ha- You want to hear a fun fact about the case? Mm-hmm. Meg Thee Stallion is 5'10", and Kelsey Harris is 4'11". 4'11"? Be- and they're best friends. Oh, bitch, so I've been looking down on you, so you're supposed Holy. to listen to me. Yeah. Oh, I get it. A stallion and a pony. <laughs> <laughs> they Chihuahua. Run- they running around a whole circus. Mm. <laughs> is she pretty? Is Kelsey pretty? I don't even know what she looks yeah, like. Yeah, she's, pretty, she's a pretty woman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Married with a child now. Congratulations, Kelsey. Oh, wow. You, turn, you turned in your, uh, your 304 card. <laughs> A 304? Yeah. What is 304? When you put 304 in the calculator and you turn it upside down. Ah! <laughs> use a, oh, I said that you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whole tactics. So when they ask the question, can you turn an H O E into a housewife? Yes, you can. It's it's hard. I'm going to tell you the secret the, the secret to a uh, wife and uh, a hoe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everybody listen. <laughs> Do not. I repeat, do not ask her about her past. Mm, Because your feelings will get hurt. Your feelings are going to get smashed. (laughs) Right. Just like her good old Gina. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Gina. (laughs) Everybody loves the Gina. Oh, my goodness. The good old Gina. Or she can lie to you. Or or she could lie to you, man. Oh, um, but that's why J. Cole said, if she tell you three. What he say? If she tell you five, you know you got to multiply by three. Hey, don't even count. (laughs) Hey, look her dead in her eyes, and you tell her, hey, baby, if you smash the million, I love you. Mm, lie to yourself. <laughs> if it was a million and two, we threw. <laughs> oh, take, that's take funny. Your, take your Sally rocking. You think men can really handle that type of truth? Even though I, I think a lot of men probably sleep with more women. Not that many men have the capacity to handle multiple women. Not that they don't have the capacity, but like, what do you mean? Like physically? No, I'm just saying that most men do, don't have the game or the skills. Oh, or the, the game. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you know, when you're younger, you don't really give a fuck. There, there are very America. few men getting a whole lot of us. Gene. There's very few men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Select few men can just go out and just. Mm. A lot of men are just out there just at home staring at the screen. <laughs> On their subscriptions. Man, they ain't paying for no subscription. Oh, wow. Xvideos.com. <laughs> <laughs> That's free promo. 
<laughs> hey, this was a fabulous episode with the first woman ever on the show, The Greatest American Ew. Live. Nature Valley 916. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah. I thank you so much. She blessed it with feminine energy. The Greatest American Alive. You are the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.